Have you ever wondered about the mysteries floating around in space? Well, there's one in particular that has long puzzled scientists, black holes. But that's all about to change because scientists have just made a groundbreaking announcement about what they've discovered inside a black hole. And trust us, it's going to get crazy. For centuries, scientists have been fascinated by these mysterious objects, which were predicted by Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity in 1915. However, it wasn't until the late 1960s that scientists were able to officially prove their existence. This happened when researchers studying the Cygnus constellation noticed an unusually bright blue star emitting X-rays and orbiting a massive black something. Further investigation revealed that the X-rays were being sucked into this enigmatic entity, leading scientists to believe it was a black hole. Since then, we've learned that there could be up to 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone, though finding them all is difficult. So exactly what are black holes? In a nutshell, they are some of the most extreme objects in the universe, with gravitational forces so strong that not even light can escape. They are invisible because they don't emit any light or radiation, and they can only be detected by the effects that they have on nearby objects. Black holes are classified into three types, stellar, intermediate, or supermassive. Stellar black holes are formed when a star collapses at the end of its life cycle. These black holes have a few times the mass of the sun and are small in comparison to the other types. Intermediate black holes are bigger than stellar black holes but smaller than supermassive black holes. These black holes are still not well understood and are the subject of much research today. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are the largest type of black hole. They can be millions or billions of times the mass of the Sun and can be found at the heart of most galaxies, including the Milky Way. These black holes are some of the most powerful objects in the universe, and they're thought to play an important role in the evolution of galaxies. When a massive object collapses in on itself, it creates a region of space where the gravitational forces are so powerful that nothing can escape. The gravitational forces are so strong inside this region that not even light can escape, which is why black holes are invisible. But here's the thing, the size of a black hole can vary depending on its mass and rotation. A black hole with a mass of 10 solar masses and a slow rotation, for example, will have a larger event horizon than one with the same mass but a faster rotation. This means that a black hole's gravitational forces can be much stronger in some regions than others, resulting in strange and unexpected phenomena. Despite their reputation as cosmic destroyers, black holes play an important role in galaxies' evolution and the formation of new stars. When a star collapses to form a black hole, a massive amount of energy is released, which can trigger the formation of new stars. In this sense, black holes can be viewed as both creators and destroyers. And they could potentially swallow the Earth whole. However, the nearest black hole to Earth is 1,500 light years away. Despite this distance, scientists were able to photograph a black hole for the first time in 2021. Specifically, they captured an image of the black hole known as M87. Through multiple nights of photography, they were able to determine that there were three layers to a black hole, the outer and inner event horizons and the singularity. The event horizons are the boundaries that surround the mouth of a black hole, and anything that gets to this point will not be able to leave. It will either remain there or be drawn deeper into the inner eye, on its way to the singularity. This is because the gravity within the event horizon is extremely strong and constant, making escape impossible. In fact, to leave a black hole, an object would have to travel faster than the speed of light, which is something that has yet to be achieved. The outer event horizon, also known as the Schwarzschild radius, it's the point at which the black hole's gravitational force becomes so powerful that even light cannot escape. This boundary serves as the black hole's mouth, and anything that passes through is forever trapped, unable to escape the black hole's grasp. The inner event horizon is the point at which the black hole's gravitational force becomes so powerful that the fabric of space-time itself is irreversibly altered. This boundary, which is closer to the singularity than the outer event horizon, 
denotes the point at which an object crossing the horizon will inevitably fall towards the singularity. The singularity is the point of infinite density at the black hole's center. The laws of physics as we know them break down here, and the density becomes so great that it's impossible to describe it accurately using our current understanding of the universe. Anything that enters the singularity is compressed to an infinitesimally small point, effectively ceasing to exist in its current form. While these three layers may seem straightforward, the behavior of objects within a black hole is anything but. The fabric of space-time itself is distorted as a result of the extreme gravitational force at work, resulting in strange and unexpected phenomena. For instance, as an object approaches the event horizons, time appears to slow down. So, to a outside observer, someone falling into a black hole appears to be moving in slow motion. Furthermore, the gravitational forces within a black hole are so strong that any object falling towards the singularity bends and twists, resulting in bizarre and seemingly impossible trajectories. It is even possible for an object to fall into a black hole and then re-emerge, though this is extremely unlikely due to the massive gravitational forces at work, and the world inside a black hole is unlike anything we've seen on Earth or in most of space. It is a completely different world with its own set of rules, or more accurately, no rules at all. To complicate matters further, each black hole is unique, with its own gravitational pull and size. So how do scientists study black holes? It's not easy because they're invisible, and you can't send probes inside to take measurements. However, there are methods for detecting them and learning more about them. One method is to study binary systems. A star and a black hole are two objects that orbit one another. Scientists can infer the presence of a black hole and learn more about its properties by analyzing the movement of the objects. The use of telescopes, however, is perhaps the most exciting way to study black holes. Black holes exist in the vastness of space, and telescopes enable us to observe their effects on nearby objects. Scientists use telescopes to study black holes by looking for gravitational effects of black holes on nearby stars. If a black hole is close to a star, its strong gravitational forces can cause the star to orbit it in a predictable manner. Scientists can infer the presence of the black hole and learn about its properties by studying the star's movements. When light passes close to a black hole, the strong gravitational force can cause it to bend and distort in ways that telescopes can actually detect. You might wonder how powerful and dangerous black holes can actually be. And it can be perfectly answered by the spaghettification effect, also known as the stretch and squeeze effect. This happens when an object falls into a black hole and is stretched and compressed by the black hole's extremely strong gravitational force. It's similar to how cooked pasta is stretched and squeezed, hence the name spaghettification. So the next time you slurp up a bowl of spaghetti, keep in mind that you might be getting a taste of the strange and extreme conditions that exist in the universe. The spaghettification effect is just one of the many fascinating and mysterious phenomena that can occur in the proximity of a black hole. There's still a lot we don't know about these mysterious objects, and there's a lot more to learn. But one thing is certain, black holes will continue to fascinate and amaze scientists and the general public for many years to come. We hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.